hello everyone you are welcome today we have a new beautiful algebra math problem which is x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120 so let's try to find all the possible real and complex solution of this algebra math problem now how can we solve this math problem so let's start our solution first of all here we will combine these two expressions first and the fourth one and we will combine these two expressions so this left hand side will become this will become this is simply x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 120 let's multiply this expression so this will become the x times x is simply x square plus x times 4 is 4x 1 time x is x 1 time 4 is 4 x time x is simply x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 120 so let's simplify both expressions so this will become this is simply x square for x plus x is simply 5x plus 4 times this will become x square plus 3x sorry 3x plus 2x is simply 5x and here we cannot this 6 as 4 plus 2 is equal to 120 now look into these two expression in these two expression here this x square plus 5x plus 4 is common so here we'll make some supposition so let us suppose x square plus 5x plus 4 is equal to another variable let us suppose a so we will replace this expression with a so this equation will become this will become a times a plus 2 is equal to 120 let's multiply these expressions and we'll take this 120 to the left hand side so it will become a times a is simply a square plus 2a minus 120 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation here we have to factorize this quadratic equation so here we can factorize this quadratic equation so here we have to find such a two numbers whose product is negative 120 and sum is 2 so these two numbers are this will become a square plus 12a minus 10a minus 120 is equal to 0 now there is a common so we'll take out a common so it will become a plus 12 and there is negative 10 common so let us take out negative 10 common this will become a plus 12 is equal to 0 and there is a plus 12 common so we'll take out a plus 12 common so this will become only a minus 10 is equal to 0 here the product of these two expression is 0 so here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0 so from here we will get a is equal to 12 a plus 12 is equal to 0 or a minus 10 is equal to 0 now here we will replace a big that's value that is x square plus 5x plus 4 so these two equations will become this a is simply this is x square plus 5x plus 4 plus 12 is equal to 0 and here a is simply x square plus 5x plus 4 minus 10 is equal to 0 let's simplify both equations so this will become x square plus 5x this is simply 16 is equal to 0 and this will become x square plus 5x 4 minus 10 is simply minus 6 is equal to 0 now first we will try to solve this one equation by factorization method so next we will replace this 5x with x square 5 is x is simply 6 x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 and there is x common so it will become x plus 6 and there is negative 1 common so it will become x plus 6 is equal to 0 now there is x plus 6 common so we'll take out x plus 6 common so become 
x minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, either this will be 0 or this one will be 0. So, this gives same x plus 6 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is x is equal to negative 6 and this is x is equal to positive 1. So, here we have two real and positive value of x which are x is equal to positive 1 and negative 6. We will try to solve this one quadratic equation. Here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula, first we will write the value of a, b, and c. So here the value of a is 1, b is 5, and c is 60. The quadratic formula is x is equal to, it is negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Let's substitute the value of abc from here. So this will become x is equal to b is 5, so this is minus 5 plus minus square root of this is 5 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 16 divided by 2 times a is 1. So let's further simplify this right hand side. So this is negative 5 plus minus 5 square simply 25 minus 4 times 16 is simply 64 divided by 2 times minus 2 so further this will become x is equal to minus 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 64 it gives him negative 39 but we can write this negative 39 is 39 times negative 1 divided by 2 so further this will become x is equal to minus 5 plus minus this will become square root of 39 times square root of negative 1 is complex identity i divided by 2 so here we have two complex values of x which are x is equal to negative 5 plus square root of 39 i divided by 2 and minus 5 minus square root of 39 i divided by 2 so here we have four possible solutions and four possible values of x to a real 1 and negative 6 and to a complex which are these two now we will try to verify these two real solutions that add x is equal to 1 and negative 6 are the exact and correct value of x in this nice and beautiful algebra problem or not so we will verify these values here and to verify these values here first we will write our problem again now problem is simply x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120 so first let's replace x is equal to 1 so this will become this will become 1 plus 1 is simply 2 this will become 3 this will become 4 and this will become 5 is equal to 120 no we can write one here so this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is, is simply 5 pictorial is equal to 120 the 5 pictorial is simply 120 is equal to 120 now both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to 1 is the exact and correct value of x in this nice algebra math problem now we will try to verify the second solution that is x is equal to negative 6 so let's substitute x is equal to negative 6 in the left hand side so this will become this will become negative 6 plus 1 times negative 6 plus 2 times negative 6 plus 3 times negative 6 plus 4 is equal to 120. So this is 1 minus 6 is simply minus 5. This is minus 4. This is minus 3. This is minus 2 is equal to 120. Now this negative and this negative will be cancelled because negative time negative is positive and this negative and this negative will become positive. So this will become 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and we can add 1 here is equal to 120. But again this is 5 factorial and 5 factorial is simply 120. So this will become is equal to 120. 
and this is 120 is equal to 120 again both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to 1 and negative 6 are the exact and correct real solutions of this beautiful algebra math problem now in last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions thanks for watching